Hey guys and welcome to another quick tutorial for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This time we're just going to have a look at how to install the Fly-By-Wire A320 Neo uh, after Microsoft has given out one of its latest updates. Now as you probably noticed every time Microsoft bring out an update there's usually a problem with the Fly-By-Wire aircraft. And this is just because technically the fly-by-wire A320 is a mod and not officially supported by Microsoft. So when they change the program, then there's usually some bugs creep into, uh, into the fly-by-wire mod for the A320. Thankfully, the fly-by-wire team are always on top of this. And usually within a few hours of an update being released, if there is a problem, they get it sorted. As they have done with the latest addition to... Uh, to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and the latest patch on uh, this video has been made after patch 5 which I believe has rendered all screens in uh, in the A320 as blank so here's how to get uh, get it working again the first thing you need to do and this is very important is before you apply any patch from Microsoft when they release one of their new updates is go to your community folder and make sure there is nothing in it. Anything that is in it, literally just highlight it and drag it out, place it on your desktop so that the community folder is completely blank. And this makes sure that any new files that the new patch from Microsoft comes in and updates doesn't interfere with anything that you've got going on in the community folder. So make sure that's all nice and clean before you update uh, the flight simulator from uh, Microsoft. Okay, so once that's uh, done, you can go ahead and update Microsoft Flight Simulator and then to get the fly-by-wire's latest patch that will uh, work and get the A320 working again, go to the GitHub page, which is just here. A uh, lot of you I know are going to the fly-by-wire page, which is this one here, and I'll pop these links into the video description. Um, I'm going to download, hitting the A320X, and either downloading the installer or going for the manual installation, which is fine. However, this is the way to download the latest stable version. Now, the stable version at the moment is not working after the latest uh, updates from Microsoft. So you need to get their developer version, which I have tested in some of my latest videos and it flies absolutely fine. And there's also a couple of new things in there as well, which is, uh, which is wonderful. So as you can see here, it says download the stable build. Well, that is not what we're after. So you can either download the installer and download the developer build, which uh, the installer gives you the option for, or you can do it uh, a little bit more manually. Now, personally, this is the way I do it. I just, I don't download their installer just because that's yet another piece of software that I've got to put onto the PC, which I'm trying to keep nice and clean for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And touch wood, at the moment, I have never had a single crash to desktop since day one. So I'm gonna close that page down. This is the page you need to get to. And again, I'll pop this link in the uh, video description. So if we scroll down a little bit, you can see under downloads so download the latest installer so you can download the installer again here you can download the latest stable version now this is the recommended stable release because it's been tested but it doesn't work after microsoft have usually released one of their updates so what you actually need to get is the unstable master branch just here uh, which has all the latest features but it's unstable use at your own risk etc etc but as i say usually it's uh, it's working fine so you download this one, just click on that and it's a zip download. Once that's downloaded, you get this file here, which we can then extract, just doing this on the desktop. Do, 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 do. Okay, so once that is all extracted, all we're going to do is pop this folder into the community folder, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, if you don't know how to find your community folder, there are various uh, various people helping you on uh, Google. A quick Google search will help you locate that just because it's different depending on where you've installed the flight simulator, whether you've used Steam to download it. So once we've extracted that file, double click and you're not putting, and this is very important actually, don't pop this file into your community folder. You need to go in here 
and it is the file that is in this folder that you need to pop into your community folder so you just cut that go to your community folder which I have pinned pop that in there there it is and now we've got that close that down and start up Microsoft Flight Simulator and you will know this is working because once we got into the flight simulator you'll have the A320 there with the flyby wire livery so we'll just let this load okay so once uh, flight sim 2020 is loaded go into the world map and we can double check that the flyby wire aircraft is there select the A320neo there we go liveries and there we are we've got the fly-by-wire aircraft so easy as that guys that's how uh, to get it installed and then once you've fired up the sim everything is working as it should be thanks very much for watching if that was useful to you please hit subscribe and like the video and uh, we'll be back with more screens and tutorials very soon bye bye for now